The classic image most have of Satan is flat out wrong. Keep watching to discover where Satan spends his time and what he spends it doing. Make me a profile of Satan. What does he look like? What does he do? From where does he do it? The classic image, the one you'll likely envision, is a red guy with horns and a pitchfork, orchestrating all of the evil in the world from his command center in hell. I'm not sure where it came from, but this pervasive image of Satan is nothing more than myth. The devil is not red with horns and a pitchfork, and while he does orchestrate evil, he doesn't do it from hell. Surprising to most people, the Bible doesn't say that Satan's home is in hell or that he's ever been there at all. Quite the opposite, actually. Jesus revealed that hell is the place prepared to destroy Satan, not his home. The Bible also claims the devil will not see hell until after his final rebellion at the end of time when he's thrown into the lake of fire. This obviously begs the question, if the devil isn't in hell, where is he? And what is he doing? Well, according to scripture, he's in one of two places doing one of two things, on earth or in heaven, opposing or accusing. It's true, Peter revealed that as an adversary, Satan prowls like a lion seeking someone to devour. And John divulged that the devil continues to go between heaven and earth to bring accusations about you and me before the Lord. So. Why does all of this matter? Well, as I detail in my book, Silent Satan, it matters so that you're aware of the source of your struggles and how to handle them. Rather than blame these things on the weather or a chemical in your brain, many of the temptations and obstacles you face are the result of a devil trying to get you to slip up, trip up, so that he can report to God about how you messed up. But here's great news. If you're a Christian, when the devil attempts to report your mistakes to God, it falls on deaf ears. An incredible word of victory that John proclaimed just after he revealed Satan's whereabouts is that they, Christians, overcame him, the accuser, by the blood of the Lamb. Yes, because you're covered by the pure, spotless DNA of Jesus, God sends Satan away, giving no ear to his accusations. But too often, when the devil returns to earth, we become his audience. Many of the mind games and much of the guilt and shame you experience are the result of giving ear to things that God doesn't. So next time you hear that voice that nags, look what you've done, or you're too much of this, or you're not enough of that, silence it with the truth. Shut up, devil. You are defeated by the blood of Jesus.